What's going on YouTube? Geostan right here. If you're interested in jailbreaking iOS 18 or iOS 26, you should know that there is important changes in the jailbreak community, especially with the currently available iOS versions and what iOS version you should stay on. Right now, if you go here to iDeviceCentral.com to iOS signing status, you can see that iOS 26.0.1, which is the latest version, is currently the only signed version. So Apple stopped signing any iOS 18 and even iOS 26.0, meaning you cannot downgrade anymore to those versions. So do not update to iOS 26.0.1. There are exploits available for iOS 18.4.1, for iOS 18.4.3 and so on. And there might be even for iOS 18.5, 18.6. So it's a bad idea to update right now because there is no way back. Now, some of you ask me in the comments, can I use Future Restore with saved SHSH blobs? Well, Future Restore used to work and you used to be able to do that. You used to be able to downgrade with saved SHSH blobs. But since the introduction of Cryptex on iOS, you can no longer do that and Future Restore is largely useless at this point because you cannot use your app tickets anymore. So downgrades with this is pretty much impossible. Another person in the comments asked me if you could use delay OTA method to get back to a good version of iOS 18 for jailbreak purposes or one that supports stuff like a device toolkit or Misaka, Nugget and so on. Now, first of all, Nugget, a jailbreak alternative supports even iOS 26 and 26.0.1. You can even disable the liquid glass UI introduced in 26 with the latest update. However, using delay OTA to downgrade for jailbreak purposes isn't possible because while delay OTA profiles still exist and they have still not expired for iOS 18.6.1, 18.6.2, iOS 18.7, unfortunately you can only go up with the delay OTA never down. If you're on iOS 18.2.1, you can use the delay OTA to get to iOS 18.6.2, 18.6, 18.5, and so on. However, you cannot go back from 26 to 18.7. That's unfortunately not possible. And as I said, there are some great powerful vulnerabilities used in the wild that have been patched in iOS 18.4.1, and there are others that have been patched in iOS 18.6 as well. So staying on iOS 18 is actually quite great for jailbreak purposes. I would highly advise you to not update 26 at this time, especially since there is no longer a way down. You can find the currently available jailbreak tools in even Misaka, Nugget and so on, which are kind of jailbreak alternatives that give you tweaks without jailbreak here on the jailbreak tools on my website. However, do keep in mind it's a bad idea to update to iOS 26. There is no way down. Apple patched every single downgrade method. So stay on iOS 18 point something, preferably iOS 18.4 and lower. If you're running anything lower than that, the lower the better and avoid iOS 26. If you already jumped to iOS 26, it's no longer possible to downgrade. However, Nugget, a kind of jailbreak alternative that gives you tweaks without being jailbroken, still supports partially iOS 26. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by Rayboot, a software that allows you to fix your device if it's stuck in recovery mode, DFU mode, it doesn't connect to the computer, or has any other boot loop issue. So definitely check the program out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I'm Gia Snow. Peace out.